Hello, how you doing? Justin here for your stage one practice routine. Now a couple of things I want to point out, I've kind of made a note of it on the website in the text, but I really want to make sure that you've kind of got this idea down because for me it's a really integral part of making a good practice routine, and that is timing yourself. And I know it seems a little bit ridiculous to time yourself for one minute or five minutes to practice, but what it does is it really focuses your mind. If you go, if you've got a little timer and you go, right, start, and then you're concentrating on this one thing that you're working on for five minutes and you wait for the timer to tell you when to stop concentrating, it means that you can kind of access a really super concentrating part of your brain really quickly. So you make maximum amount use of the time that you've got because we're all busy you know it's not like we've all got just hours and hours to spend fiddling about on guitar so let's make the most of the time that we've got so the things that you should practice the first thing is chord practice and you do this with strum pick out and strum so you take your e chord that you've done and you'd strum it then you pick out the notes individually well it's not right fix it keep going and then strum at the end and you do that for every chord that you know and every chord that we do in the whole course you're going to be doing this exercise too so strum pick out the notes individually make sure they're good and clear and then strum again and when you do that last strum make sure you tell yourself that's how i want you to go fingers that's that's a good chord that's a good way of kind of mentally making sure you do the right stuff first thing second thing you're doing your one minute changes so bang on with the timer, timing yourself going D, A, D, A, D, A, over as many times as you can in a minute, writing down the score that you got. Nice and simple, one minute each on D to A, D to E, and A to E. Then we've got five minutes on songs or chord sequences. So there are a few chord sequences for each lesson that I've put up there, there's no video lesson for those, but either just run through, play those sequences through yourself, or play some songs. Now chord sequences can be kind of a good idea because they don't restrict you to trying to make it sound like a record and you can really work on just the chord changes and getting your rhythm nice and even. Whereas if you're trying to play a song, it's always you get that feeling that you want to play it just like the record. And maybe they use more complicated strumming and that kind of thing. So chord sequences is a great thing to practice, but if you want, there's also some songs up there that just use AD and E chord on the website that you might want to check out. Now, for those of you that are interested, I'd, I, I do highly recommend checking out my Justin training exercises, which are ear training exercises and will help develop the skill that I think is possibly the most important thing that you can do on guitar, which is the ability to transcribe, to be able to hear something that you like and work out how to play it on the instrument. So I've had a lot of success with beginner guitar players learning to do these really basic skills, really easy oral training right at the beginning, and that way they find as they grow, their ears grow too. So I would highly recommend that you check that out as well, if you can. Plenty more information about that on the website. So I hope you enjoy this first stage. Plenty of practice from you. Try and get it consistent. Try and practice a little bit every day. And then when you've finished all of this stuff in stage one, you feel confident with the chords, then let's get together and join me for stage two.